who is reminding us our last topic before we push ahead into this business. Yes, Kayo. Sir, interdependence of nations. Interdependence of nations. Thank you very much. And I made it known to us that that topic happened to be the first topic uh, that exposed us to international relations as one of the aspects of our government. As a matter of fact, that will be the last part in the study of government. From there, we'll go to foreign policy, foreign policy to international organizations, among the others. Now, and I said something the other day when I was teaching you interdependent of nations, that you are going to learn more about uh, the reason for that interdependent of nations on a topic called foreign policy. Okay, so our today's business is basically on foreign policy. And we are looking at it at Nigeria's foreign policy. And I want you to pay attention very well. This is an interesting topic. And at the same time, if you don't pay attention, you may get something twisted. And this topic is an elongated topic. So I am ready to expose you to different aspects of this topic. And please, in this topic, you have theoretical question in UTM, in a WhatsApp, and also in UTME, question come from this area, especially when we are going to look at the foreign policy under the different administration in Nigeria. So you need to know some key goals or objective of the foreign policy under the different uh, uh, regime in Nigeria. That will be other aspects, which, which may not be to our today's uh, aim. So, but for today, we are going to look at the the term foreign policy. We are going to look at the term foreign policy. Then we will also be looking at Nigeria foreign policy in terms of its meaning. Of course, if you know what foreign policy is, you should understand what Nigeria foreign policy also mean. Then we will look at some conceptual analysis of some terms that are used in foreign policy. This is what I'm going to do today, and I want to pay attention. But before then, before then, I want to exercise your brain by asking some silent questions. Here we have policy, we have foreign. Okay, let me leave Nigeria out of it for now. When we say policy, what does it mean? Let's start from that. When we say policy, what does policy mean? You have answer to my question? Raise your hand, I recognize you. So on these paradigms, we will, be, we will understand what we are going to do today. I will say policy, what does it mean? Oh, nobody? If you don't want to respond, I will call you. Okay? About Femi. There's noise in that your place, eh? Yes, what is policy? The policy is like a principle that is adopted by a country. Okay. You mean that as you are as you are as a human being, you don't have policy. If, I it, is only, if it's only a country that adopts policy, eh? That means human being, con uh, community, or family, there's no policy. There is, sir. Okay, what is policy? Policy is a principle that, that is adopted by individuals, countries, and organizations. This word, please, can you recap? Our principles adopted by individuals, organizations, and countries. 
Okay, I want to ask another question, and I want all of you to listen at home. What is the difference between policy and principle? Because you said policies are principles adopted by individual or state or country. Now, does it mean that policy and principles are the same? No. Okay. Yes. Who is who is answering the question? Anybody? Because I know uh Femi is lost. Yes, prudence. Don't mind me, I mistakenly mute you again. You can mute yourself. Uh, Obafemi give us a definition that is very controversial in nation about policy. To say policies are principles adopted by individual or country. Now, and I said, does it mean that policy and principles are the same? No. Okay. No. What is okay. policy? What is principle? Okay. Policy are laws that there are laws or because let me just say laws laws that are upheld by a certain group of people okay. then principle principle is like a belief that guides people people's behavior okay. in time of in time of change does which one change? Does policy change or principle? Principle. Principle change. No, no, policy, policy, policies change, no principle. Okay, okay. Principle. Okay, thank you. Please, today I want to, I, you see, you know, this is an academic feat. We, we learn every day, okay? Policies are just decisions, and decision could be temporary. It, when I say temporary, it could be something that just stands for a while, and at a particular time, it will change. And it could be a kind of policy, a kind of decision that will go for a long period of time. And that is why we say the, 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 the policy and principles, they are not the same. Principles are those guiding, as in, how would I put it? I just believe, just as a prudent set, that guide an individual or group of people. For instance, the belief of the Yorubas that you must prostrate when you want to greet an elderly person, stand, nothing will change it. But in terms of policy, policies are just decisions taken either by individual, group of people, or a country that will stand for a particular time or to achieve a particular goal. The policies of Obasanjo's regimes is not the same thing with the policies taken by the regimes of, please, mute yourself if you want to talk. Bring it. Some of you, you cannot tame yourself. I have given you the opportunity to move and unmute yourself, thinking that you are mature mind. You want to talk and you are talking and you are you know that your speaker is, is not muted. Okay. As I was saying, I said the policies embarked upon by the regime of police Gombasonjo, it's not the same thing as the policy embarked upon by the regime of Yaradua. Jonathan, even that of incumbent uh, government of uh, Wari. These policies change changes from time to time, but principle does not change. So pol policy and principles are not the same. Policies stand for decision taken at a time, either by an individual or a government or by society or by a group of people in order to achieve certain 
goals or objectives. I think you understand what a policy is now. Okay, now we are not looking. Okay, before then, we have all called domestic and foreign policy. There's what called domestic and foreign policy. And it's on that paradigm that will, I will link myself to, to this topic. Now you have already underst understood what a policy is. And I, said, we said, and I said we have domestic and foreign policy. What is domestic foreign policy? And what is domestic policy and what is foreign policy? Yeah, response from Pope. You already know what a policy is. Kaya will come back to you. Or well, let me see. Those are don't want to talk here. I can hear me, Jessica. What is domestic policy? Domestic policy are those decisions or domestic policy are those um, decisions or laws taken by individual countries. Yeah, taken by individual country, but something is missing. Something is missing. I'm not satisfied. Okay. Hola, Mide. What is domestic yeah. policy? What is domestic policy? Because you don't understand domestic policy, you may find it difficult to understand to this topic. Domestic policies are the policies taken within by individual countries. For within the country for themselves. You still, you still miss the same thing. Okay, you still miss the same thing. Um we say Patia. What is domestic Sir? policy? What is domestic policy? Domestic policies are policies taken by individuals. Um, around the country. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, let me listen to Kayo. Domestic, domestic policy, domestic policy, like it, there are decisions or laws that are taken by, okay, that, that are taken relating to issues concerning a country, within that country. Then what is now foreign policy? Maybe I should add that question now. What is foreign policy? There are decisions taken by a country other than your own country. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, I find that we just of you are lost here. Okay. Listen, listen. When the other time I say policies are setting decisions uh, taken by a particular individual or group of people or a country, okay? to achieve a certain goal, okay? When you take decision, you want to achieve certain goal or objective. When we say domestic policy, domestic policies are decision hmm, taken by a country, okay? Of which the goal to be achieved based on that decisions are within the confinement of the country. I said they are decision taken by individual country. And of which, the realization of that decision or the goals of that decision taking are within the confinement of the country. When I say the, within the confinement, the decision, that, the, the policy that have been made for you to actualize everything, you don't need to relate to that country. You can achieve everything within the microscopic view, within the boundary of your country. We call it domestic domestic policy in the sense that actualization of the decision reach or actualization of the policy or actualization of the objective or the policy that have been what reach will be done within the geographical entity of the country. It is not going to be what actualized outside the country. Please listen. It's more or less like what Jessica needs. Jessica has taken a embark on a policy. And the policy Jessica embark upon, Jessica does not need to interact with Prudent, who maybe Jessica is a country, 
students in another country. But if if the agents has reached a kind of have made a kind of policy, and to achieve the objectives of the policies of the policy, Jessica does not need to interact with students. That policy is a domestic policy because Jessica has everything within her to actualize the objective of the policy. But if Jessica will embark on a decision, okay, we make a policy and for her to achieve the objective of the policy, she will need to interact with Olamide, Olamide that happen to be another entity. Then that policy she has embarked upon becomes a foreign policy. Take note, for the fact we say foreign policy does not mean that the policies are made outside your country. No, the policies are made within the country. Just that for you to achieve the objective of the policy in question here, you need to interact with other people. For instance, okay, let, 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 me, let me come home a bit, more home a bit. Oh, Faxi, I need Biro. He has made the policy that I want to buy a Biro. I want to buy a government textbook. I want to buy a mathematics textbook. But for her to achieve the objectives which she has put in place in the policy she has made, she needs to interact with her parents. Without her parents, she can't get money to achieve the objectives specified in the policies or in the decision that she has made. Interacting with her parents means that that objective or that policy now is not the type of objective that she can what, achieve on her own. If we are now taking it to international system, if Nigeria should make a kind of policy and that policy cannot be achieved within the territorial integrity of Nigeria, of which Nigeria will need to interact with all that country in the world to achieve the policy, that policy becomes a foreign policy. Oh, before we put your head, let me hear from you. You can unmute yourself. Let me hear from you. Do you understand the differences between domestic and foreign policy now? Yes, let me hear from you. Yes, Jessica, let me hear from you. Do you understand the difference between domestic and foreign policy now? Yes, sir. Okay. Patsia, let me hear from you. Do you understand what is domestic and what is foreign policy now? Yes, sir. Please, anybody who does, who does not understand, feel free to ask me a question because it is on this we can now forge ahead. If you have understood what I've said now, we don't have problem with today's topic again. Okay. Kayo. Sir. Do you understand? What's domestic and what is foreign policy now? Yes, sir. Okay. Papa Femi. Sir. Do you understand foreign policy and domestic policy now? Yes, sir. Okay. Hola, Mide. I've told you, I've told you, please. I have my principle. If you turn on your video, I will not believe you are part of my class. Okay. I will not continue to waste my time on that. Now, haven't understood the term foreign policy and domestic uh, policy. We're going to look at it in the perspective of Nigeria foreign policy. All the grammar that has spoken since, that what you have seen now. 
10 foreign policies is set up getting a government to achieve in her relation with other governments in the world. That's what I have said. Yeah? I have finalized everything. You have made a policy in your country and you could not achieve those things within your country. So there's still for you to interact with other country. That's, you, you don't forget the what you said about interdependent of nations, that is interactions among nations in the world. And I said the fact that natural human resources and all that thing that make world to go around has not been what shared equally in the world. What you have, I don't have it. What I have, you don't have it. Then in order for you to get what I have, you need to interact with me. That is why this topic is an extension of interdependence of nation. A country will make a policy, and in order to achieve those policy, if those things that are required are not within the territorial integrity of the country, then the country decides to interact, to relate with other states in the world. So when you relate with other states in the world, in order to get the objective of the policies you have made in your country to actualize, that, that policy becomes foreign policy, as simple as that. When we say foreign policy, it does not mean it. the policy is made outside the country. No, the policies are made, the decisions are made within the country. Just that the objectives to be actualized in that in decisions are not within the power of the country to actualize it. You need to relate with other countries in the world to get them achieved. That is why we call it foreign policy. And when we say Nigeria foreign policy, eh, as you can see, it's the totality objective. Mm? It is some total of what Nigeria intends to achieve in her relationship with other states in the world. Nigeria foreign policy simply implies the totality of objectives or the sum total of aims or the, what Nigeria as in request to achieve in the international system. There's not how I will explain this again that I've seen not go back to what I said in the inter, when I was teaching inter, interdependent of nation. I said something at the right time. I said if a man can conceive and give birth and get whatever that she he needs from a lady, do you think that a man would decide to marry? Obafemi, answer the question. No, sir. No, okay. That is the truth. If all a woman needs can be achieved within herself alone, do you think that a lady would decide to go and marry and try to be subjecting herself to under authority of another man? Jessica, answer that question. No, sir, it's not possible. It's not possible. You will, will not. Okay? So, you now see it that what governs the relationship between a man and a woman is based on what a man needs that, that can be found in a woman and what a woman needs that can be found in a man. The same thing, what governs Nigeria relationship with other countries is the totality sum or objective of what Nigeria needs, which Nigeria could not achieve on her own. Hence, interaction of Nigeria with other countries to get those things acquired. I have given you a picture here. You see President Muhammad Buhari and uh, the Chinese president, Xi Jinping. Eh? You know the name. <laughs> Jessica, you laugh. Do I need to spell the name for you? You do not talk, oh. Do I need to spell the name for you? Okay, I don't need to spell the name. You will go up for that. Z is Z-I. Eh? Z-I, that is Z. Jinping is J-I-M-P-I-N-G. And G-I-N. Okay? Z, Jinping. Don't, let, don't allow my teeth to remove, oh. Eh? If you allow my teeth to remove, you will pay for it. I said Z I that is Z. Jinping is J I N G 
ing Xi Jinping. Okay, that is, <laughs> that is Chinese uh, president. You see, Nigeria has developed a cordial relationship with China. Why? I want somebody to tell me, especially the commercial students at home. Why has Nigeria developed a close relationship with China? Yes. Answer my question. Okay, I should call you. Obafemi. You should have understand all these things in your comments and your marketing, whatever, all those topics, all those subjects. Yes? Why has Nigeria developed close relationship with China? Be um, because Ch China does not have all, most of the resources that Nigeria has. What are Nigeria those resources? Is... Don't be ambiguous. Tell me, tell me, those resources that Nigeria have that China does not have. Like crude oil. Okay, don't say most. So Nigeria, China, Nigeria is rich in crude oil, but China does not have that. Okay, yes. China don't has technology. <laughs> God bless you. Clap yourself. Clap yourself. Clap yourself. You have helped me. You have helped. You are. In, you are. In, you are. In fact, you are. In, you are making me to feel like teaching now. Okay. China is technologically inclined. Nigeria has crude oil. You remember I said I was talking about a man and a woman at that time. You can see the relationship now. Technology will not function if you don't have something to satisfy those things. At the same time, if you produce the technological material, where do you sell them? Don't forget economic reason of interdependence of nation. So China look at Nigeria as a big market where they can sell their technological products. Nigeria also look at China as a country that can also what help in advancing uh, technological prospects in the international system. Hence, the core relationship with Nigeria and China. As a matter of fact, the Nigeria-Chinese relationship started sometimes during the Civil War. We'll get to that when we're going to dissect the Nigeria foreign policy under the different regime in Nigeria. You will see how Chinese government help the country, and you also see how Chinese government also help Nigeria in terms of uh, production of uh, we weapons during the fight against the insurgents in the Niger Delta, which the Western power refused to intervene because they benefited from the way our courier have been what, taken out of the country legally. You see, this international international system is the politics is dirty. Eh? I wish some of you come and study international relations so you know some of the level of dirtiness in international system for the political arena. Imagine they will tell us in the public that they are they are good. People that are stealing our resources, stealing our kudo here, they are taken to their country legally and they will accept it. When Nigerian government seek their support for us to fight the insurgents and prevent leakage of our accrued oil, they never they were not, they were not there to support us. So what I'm trying to say in essence is that Nigeria relates with China because of what Nigeria needs and we could not achieve on our own. And what Chinese government needs and China could not achieve on her own. Let me hear a response. Do you understand what is Nigeria foreign policy now? Let me hear from you before I fall your head. Yes, I can hear me. Do you understand what is Nigeria foreign policy now? Jessica. Sir. Do you understand what is Nigeria foreign policy now? Yes, sir. Okay. About Femi. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, Olamide? Yes, sir. Patsia? Yes, sir. Prudent, you were away for a time. So what happened? You understand so what my is... Thing. Oh, sorry about that. You understand what is Nigeria foreign policy now? No, yes, sir. Okay. I said the Nigeria foreign policy is the totality of objective Nigeria seek to achieve in her relation with other countries in the world. And I, I, I deviate a bit back to what we talk, I talked under the reason for interdependence of nation. 
in the inter under the inter interdependence of nation. You find out that country relates. Why? Why do they relate? Country in the world relates because of what they need, what they want to achieve, and they couldn't achieve on their own. So what Nigerian governments want to achieve or which the government could not achieve on its own in the policy they have made, hmm, in the decision that I've made within the country, <laughs> what drives the Nigerian relation with other countries? And I give instance of like, what makes a man to marry a woman and what makes a woman to marry a woman is the fact that what a man has, a woman does not. And what a woman has, a man does not. The same thing. When I now ask a question from a, a, a bad family that look at, take for instance, what does, what, what, what see Nigeria relationship with Chinese government? He said Nigeria has crude oil. China does not. China is technically inclined, but Nigeria is not. Hence, the relationship in order to balance the equation. Okay. Our kudo here won't be able to what makes sense for us. Can we drink the kudo here? Can the kudo here turn to our technology? No. We need a country that where we are going to sell the kudo here or country that will help us to refine the oil in order for us to turn the money to something else. Okay? China will not use their technology if they don't have a country where they will sell those technological appliances or materials. Okay? The new Nigeria, Nigeria is, a big, is one of the biggest markets for Chinese governments in the world. Hence, the cordial relationship between Nigeria and China. The person you are looking at here is the Chinese president, Xi Jinping, and uh, President Muhammadu Buhari. Okay, so, and that was why I said, what makes Nigeria to relate with other countries in the world? Nigeria, now, I'm not looking at individual now. What makes Nigeria to relate with other countries in the world? And what we refer to as her foreign policy. That is what I say is the totality of domestic uh, what? policy, which we are unable to be achieved within the country. But to be achieved when Nigeria relates with other countries in the international system. You are with me here. You wouldn't have been with me if you don't need the knowledge of government. Abi? Yes, sir. Is it? But you couldn't achieve it on your own. Hence, your interaction with Mr. Emmanuel, for you to achieve the knowledge you require in the field of government. The same thing that governs, that is your, the, the fact that you are here is your policy. You have made the policy, I want to learn governments. I want to learn this, that, and government. But you couldn't achieve it on your own. You need to interact with me, who is another entity now. The same way, those policies made by Nigeria, or which Nigeria could not achieve within the country, I need to interact with other countries, turn to Nigeria foreign policy. And that's why the totality of the for all Nigerians need to achieve, or what govern Nigeria relations with other states in the world. you understand what Nigeria foreign policy is now? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Now, there are some things we need also need to understand in foreign policy. What are the people that drive foreign policy? And what are, the, what are those things that determine the foreign policy of a country? Okay? What are those things that determine the foreign policy of a country? What determine the foreign policy of a country, we, we will call it the national interest. Hmm? The national interest of a state determine her foreign policy. So the national interest of Nigeria determine her foreign policy. Then what we say national interest? What is national interest? Yes, anybody, what is national interest? Some of you will become an ambassador tomorrow. Forget about you. You will be ambassador of Nigeria to China. Eh? Like, like uh, Jessica now. They post Jessica to China. And you're going to stay in Wuhan. <laughs> ah. Ah. You are shaking your head. Okay. You must understand some of this term international system. Eh? Okay, what was the national interest? The national interest simply means the major things that a country needs based on the demand of the citizen. For instance, in Nigeria now, 
who can tell me what are the national as in, who can tell me the national interests of Nigeria now as we are talking? Those 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 things that you think that Nigerians are agitating for, who can tell me? Yes, prudent. Employment. Employment. Thank you. That is one. Because in this country now, there's massive unemployment in the country. So Nigeria should now look at, as a matter of fact, now it is not possible for Nigerian government to provide all necessary employment needed. Then, therefore, Nigeria need to also romance the international system, bring multinationals to Nigeria. When those multinationals come to Nigeria, you will see then they will create jobs for the jobless citizens. Then what are other national interests? Uh, um, no, I can hear me. What do you think that's the national interest in the country now? Yes? Sir? You did not hear my question? Sir, I don't hear you. That means you have not been with me since, right? No, like now. You are not serious. The question I ask is based on what I, what I have said before. I have asked a question. What, what, what mean by national interest? And I've explained what national interest is. And you can give me an example of the national interest of this country now. Example of what you think that Nigeria needs. Prudent told um, me, has said one. Tell me one. Health facility. Health. Our health is suffering. Yes, sector is suffering. Yes, yes. But I want you to know that one of the major national interests in this country now is security. Hmm? Is there security in the country? No. It's done. And how do we ensure the security of life and property? And that is why I said Nigeria need to relate with neighboring countries like Chad, like Niger, like Cameroon, in order to fight Boko Haram, in order to prevent the influence of this uh, full and enhancement that are killing people everywhere. So the national interest of a country determine her foreign policy. The national interest of Nigeria determine Nigeria foreign policy. And what are those people that let me tell you what I've just told you. It's a UTME question. It's a UTME question. It will ask you what determines the foreign policy of a country. They will tell you different things. It is it's a national interest. Jessica, are you with me here? Stop that rubbish you are doing with your hands. Okay. <laughs> okay, then what who are those people? Who are those people that draft? the foreign policy of a country. As you can see, majorly we have the finance ministers, we have the minister of foreign affairs, we have the minister of other, in some, in, in some regime they'll call it foreign affairs, in some regime they'll call it external affairs, okay? In some regime we have minister of national planning, okay? Have minister of economic or national planning, okay? Then we also have some state actors, these are the areas I'm going to explain some things. We have some state actors that are involved in the planning of, we have state actors, no state actors. The no state actors, I will tell you when we point ahead. Why the state actors are the government officials, you can see here, that plan the foreign policy in collaboration with the president of the country. This is, Minister of Finance, President of Nigeria, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Godfrey Oyema. What is the name of Minister of uh, Finance? Yes, I'll come back to you again, Jessica. What is the name of Minister of Finance? And you see, and tomorrow you want to be a finance minister, you want to study that account. Yeah. Want to study account, want to become a chartered accountant. Hmm? Zenab Ahmed is the incumbent minister of finance. Zenab Ahmed, okay? Zenab Ahmed as the person you are seeing here, okay? So these people come together and draft the foreign policy of a state in conjunction with some no state actors. Then I will now add this question. Who is a state? What is the meaning of state actors and what is the meaning of no state actors? 
your question go to Olamide. Olamide, answer my question. Who are the state actors? Who are the no state actors? Yes, Olamide, I'm with you. No response? Okay. Prudence. Prudence network. Prudence. What? What are the state actors? What are the no state actors? Sir? Okay. State actors. There are, there are people that, that, I don't know. There are people that act on the stage, Abby. <laughs> okay. The state actors are the government officials that plan the foreign policy, as we have seen here. The finance minister, the minister of national planning and code, they are called state actors. The diplomats, the ambassadors of Nigeria to the different countries in the world, they are called state actors. Okay. Now, the no state actors, they are influential citizens, okay? The no state actor, they are influential citizens. Where to do Nigerians that influence the foreign policy of a country? They are not part of the government officials, the no state actors. They are not part of government officials. But you can't plan the foreign policy of a country without them. Let me say, for instance, do you know Ali Kodangote that yeah, is sir. into oil, oh yeah, into different things, production of cement, among others. If Nigeria wants to plan any foreign policy that has to do with oil, we have to do with refined oil, among others. You can't do without Ali Kodangote and Femi Otedola, as you can see. Femi Otedola is into oil business. Of course, I know some of you have heard about Forte Oil. F-O-R-T-E, Forte Oil. That is owned by Femi Otedola. Okay? Mm -hmm. These are the people, as yes, a right. matter of fact, these people, as you see them, they, one way or the other, they finance, they determine who govern the country, as you see them. If you are not aware, they don't contest for any political office, but, you see them during election, people go, go to them. They use their money to sponsor who they think will make a policy that will benefit their businesses. You remember when I taught you in SS1, form of political, part, a form of a political participation, yes, that sponsoring political parties or candidates. These people, they don't, they don't contest, but they sponsor political parties, they sponsor candidates that will embark on policies, either being domestic or foreign policy that will favor them. And as a matter of fact, when the government is in power, Jessica, be careful. When government is in power, when the government is in power, they will not take the policies as in the, the, any, of, any of their foreign policy without these set of uh, individuals. Of course, you know that. Ali Kodangote is building a kind of a refinery. In fact, when he finished the refinery at this lucky stroke on those state coasts, he's going to be one of the best in the world. The technological material needed for the refineries are imported from China. You can now see one of the reasons Nigeria and Chinese relationship is somehow cordial. Okay? So, do you think that Nigeria and Chinese relationship in terms of technological advancement will have been made with that consultation of uh, Ali Kodangote? No. So this no state actors who are not government officials but were informed individuals, they evolve in the determination of a country foreign policy. And we're talking of a global system. You know, Mike Adenuga. Mike Adenuga, you know who owns Glue, glue right? Some of you are using Glue. If you don't know Mike Adenuga, it's the one you are seeing here. This is Mike Adenuga, okay? The owner of uh, Globacom, okay? You cannot 
determine something that has to do with networking and that is now in the country you know, without trying to what, consult them. Because as you see there, they don't talk, but their money speak. It's time. They don't talk, their money speak. Somebody that has sponsored your election, that has given you money to do some things. When you want to take decision, you think you, you will not go and meet the person. You are lying. Because if dollar will be scarce in this country now, hmm, these people you are looking at, they are very influential to make that happen. Yes. This is because their business, they trade in dollar. So you can't throw them away when you are planning your, national, uh, your foreign policy. So far, so good. We have looked at the meaning of uh, policy, foreign policy, and Nigeria foreign policy. And we have looked at what determines the foreign, the foreign policy of a country, which I said the national interest of the country. And I have made known to you that people that plan the foreign policy of a country. And I said, among these people, they can be categorized into two. We have the state actors and the no state actors. And I said the state actors are the government officials that plan the foreign policy. Why the no state actors are the well-informed individual business overall in the country that influence the decisions of the government positively in order to make the, their business, mm, they ensure that their business remain relevant at the same time to make sure that the country also work, work, work very well. But as a matter of fact, they go after their interest first. Let me just tell you. As you see that they, it's, they, 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 because they are capitalists, yes. And the goal of every capitalist is to maximize what profits. But one way or the other, a country cannot do without them. And you can see the list of the state's actors. If I may ask this question before we fold the class, what is the difference between an ambassador and a high commissioner? Who is an ambassador? Who is a high commissioner? Yes. Hola, Midi. Be careful. Who is an ambassador? Who is a high commissioner? Obafemi. An ambassador is someone that represents a country that represents a country. Mm -hmm. That all. Patia, who's an ambassador? Who is the High Commissioner? Um, an ambassador is a person that represents and promotes um, the country. The uh, High Commissioner. Um, high Commissioner. OK. Jessica. That's your finger name you are keeping. I'm looking at it here. Hmm? That's your finger name. You know, you know now. I'm going to cut it. That finger name can, have, can harbor coronavirus. Yes. Doing the finger name. Yes. Tell me, who is uh, who is an ambassador? Who is the high commissioner? Yes, Jessica, I'm talking to you. Come on, mute yourself and talk. Okay. Um, an ambassador is a person who represents his or her own country in an international affair. Affairs, okay. <laughs> okay, I had you. Yeah, who is an, who's a high commissioner? Mm. Who is a high commissioner? High commissioner. I don't know. Mm. Kayo.
students. Sir. Tell me who is an ambassador, who is a high commissioner? An ambassador is a is a person or like a diplomat that a state appoints to represent the state in a foreign country. Okay. Then a high commissioner. A high commissioner, um somebody higher than an ambassador. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> okay. Oh. Now, please listen. All of you have the idea who's an ambassador. For your information, both ambassador and high commissioner, they represent their country in another country. Hmm? Now, there, there is relationship, there is a difference. Relationship is the fact that both of them represent their country in another country. Hmm? Both an ambassador and a high commissioner represent his or her country in another country. The difference is that a high commissioner is the representative of a country in another country that is a member of Commonwealth of Nations. Eh? I said an ambassador is representative and a, a high commissioner. A high commissioner is representative of a country. Some of you now, you, are, you, you don't know, yet you are not writing. Hmm? A high commissioner High Commissioner is the representative of her or his country in another country of which both are members of the Commonwealth of Nations. That is, the country, Nigeria now is a member of the Commonwealth of Nations. Anybody that represents Nigeria as an ambassador in Canada, that person will not be called ambassador, it will be called a High Commissioner because Canada is a member of the Commonwealth of Nations. Okay, but a representative of Nigeria in another country that is not a member of Commonwealth of Nations is called ambassador. Eh? I say a representative of Nigeria in another country that is not a member of Commonwealth of Nations is called an ambassador. That is, for instance, now a representative of Nigeria in Angola is an ambassador because Angola is not a member of Commonwealth of Nations. You get to know more about Commonwealth of Nations when we get when you get to SS3. Thank you very much. Question from you before we question from you. So when are we resuming? Oh, uh, as a matter of fact, the federal government will determine that. Federal government will determine when we are resuming, but hopefully that's what will happen between now and ending of uh, June. We likely get a positive response because they are doing protests and they have not been recording any this abroad. You can't compare the situation in USC, another country with uh, Nigeria. You know, the government needs to protect the citizens, and don't forget that people, someone like you now, you can exercise some restraint, but someone like Chinko now. Your chico can play anywhere. Blah, 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 blah. So, in order to prevent uh, community spread of coronavirus, we need to know the situation of things in society very well before we ask them to resume. 
you know, students, they can't control themselves the way adults will control themselves. That is why. But let's see, between now and June, we'll get positive response from the government, depending on the, the escalations and reductions of the pandemic in the country. Okay, but anyway, school may also resume in a form of part-time basis. When I say part-time basis, it may be kind of a, a maybe session. Maybe we we'll have afternoon session or morning session, or we may have a kind of class that will resume today, and that class will not come the next day. So I'm just saying this for now. We don't know what the government to do. We are happy, right? But so let's go and listen to what to be the ruler from the Federal Ministry of Education as regards the template for the resolution after the pandemic or after the reduction of the global pandemic in the country. Okay. okay. Any other question? Chinko, you don't have me, you better to ask me a question, Abi. Uh, Patia, no question. You understand this topic very well, right? Yes, sir. All right, all right, all right. Thank you very much. In absence of other question, call it today. I will send my assignment to the normal priority. Please, make sure you do my assignment. Make sure you do my assignment and ensure you use your correct email. 